The star beetle juice is so massive. If you swapped it with the sun, it'd engulf the orbit of Mars and extend all the way through the asteroid belt. No need to panic, but at 700 light years, it is the closest star to the sun that will end its existence in a supernova explosion. Neil deGrasse Tyson Betelgeuse, one of the brightest stars in the night sky, has a beautiful orange-purple shade. It's also known for its variability, which means that its brightness can change over time. In reality, Betelgeuse can sometimes become so brilliant that it rivals even the brightest stars in the sky, reaching a significance of almost 0.0. .0. It has been said that Betelgeuse has exploded and we are in for a great, terrifying experience. But is this really true? Let's look at the current situation of this stunning sun-like star. It's important to understand that the brightness of a star can vary significantly. Take, for example, Rigel and Aldebaran. These are two stars that can have vastly different levels of brightness. At its brightest, Aldebaran can be as bright as Rigel, but at its dimmest, it can be similar to Aldebaran. This variation in brightness is due to a range of factors, including the star size, temperature, and distance from Earth. The duration in question lasted for a little over five years and was characterized by significant challenges and problems. Some of the other variations include Beller, BJWS, and Belgia. It's fascinating how the same celestial object can have multiple names and spellings. The origin of the word can be traced back to the Arabic language. According to scholars, the juice ending is considered the most appropriate for the given context. However, as Arabic is not my area of expertise, I'm unable to provide any further insights on the matter. Betelgeuse is a red supergiant star located in the constellation Orion, about 6,425 light years away from Earth. Its distance from us makes it one of the most studied and fascinating stars in the night sky. The Hipparchos astrometric satellite has provided us with valuable information about the distances of celestial objects. Based on its data, it has been determined that the distance to this particular object is about 430 light years away. This information helps us better understand the vastness of our universe and the immense distances between celestial bodies. Betelgeuse is just around 10 million years old, while the Sun is 4.6 billion years old. Betelgeuse, despite being significantly younger, is a fully evolved star. Indeed, a supernova explosion a few tens of light years from Earth would have very devastating repercussions. A supernova can produce light equal to an entire galaxy. So, if one of our nearby stars like Alpha Centauri were to undergo such an event, we could not ignore it. It wouldn't matter if it shone as brightly as the moon because it would be bathing us in radiation of all kinds. But it might, since 16004, we have not observed a supernova in our galaxy. Still, in 19871, erupted in the big cloud of Melon with results that would be actually seen, even at a distance of 169,000 light years. G22.0 plus 1.8. Supernova remnants are the remnants left behind when stars explode as supernova. This one is an unusual range with a number of oxygen, although there was no risk. It's fortunate that the huge cloud is so far away. The risk area around a normal supernova is an interesting concept to work with. Now it would be somewhere around 100 light years, but as I'm a selenographer instead of an astrophysicist, I could very well have anticipated it incorrectly. Alpha Centauri remains within range, whereas Betelgeuse would be out of range. In any event, it seems safe to state Betelgeuse explosion now. All this still doesn't answer the most important question. Has Betelgeuse just exploded? The red supergiant star that is closest to Earth is Betelgeuse. It will eventually explode, but when? Betelgeuse began dimming significantly in late 2019, which caused excitement all around the world. Some people thought the crucial event was about to occur because of the strange Betelgeuse dimming. However, Betelgeuse has not yet erupted since then. This prominent star in Orion Hunter constellation has recovered brightness, dimmed, brightened, and appears to be now transitioning back to a less active condition. However, it's clear that more dimming could occur at any time. The hunter's right shoulder is easily distinguished, since it is marked by the second brightest star in Orion. Betelgeuse radiates a red tinge. It is well positioned for viewing in the first few months of each year in the evening sky. 
astronomers have determined after analyzing data from NASA's Hubble Space Telescope and a number of other observatories that the bright red supergiant star, Betelgeuse, physically B. Its peak in 2019, Betelgeuse created a huge surface mass ejection, SMME, and lost a large portion of its visible surface. This behavior in a star has never before been observed. A coronal mass ejection, CME, which occurs frequently on our sun, is a process where a part of the sun's flimsy outer atmosphere, the corona, is blown away. However, Betelgeuse ejected 400 billion times more mass than an average CME. Therefore, it appears that a cloud of hot gas that the star released and quickly covered some of the star's light was what produced the unusual darkening of Betelgeuse. Although some estimates place it farther away, Betelgeuse may be as nearby as 724 light years from Earth. Determining the distances of red supergiant stars like Betelgeuse is a challenging task in astronomy. Despite being far away, Juice is one of the brightest stars in the sky due to its inherent brilliance. It is around 100,000 times brighter than the sun. Such brilliance has a price because Betelgeuse's tremendous energy soon depletes its fuel, hastening the end of its life. The star will eventually run out of fuel, collapse under its own weight, and then explode spectacularly as a supernova. Betelgeuse will then become extremely bright for several weeks or months, perhaps matching the brightness of the full moon and becoming visible in the daytime. Why Betelgeuse became dimmer in 2019 The star experienced changes in late 2019, becoming significantly dimmer. This apparent magnitude went from 0.5 to 1.7. Early in 2020, the red supergiant started to restore its brightness, putting an end to this decline. Some individuals believed that the star is set to erupt as a result of this unexplained occurrence. The VT was used by astronomer Miguel Montage and his team to determine why this occurred with Betelgeuse. They claim there are two reasons for this. The big convective cells of the star produced warm and cold regions on its surface, which was the first explanation. The big dimming episode was also due to a cloud of dust that obscured the starlight from our perspective. This cloud was also created by Betelgeuse. It's still uncertain exactly when Betelgeuse will erupt. On the other hand, the supernova explosion would be visible on the planet even during the daytime because it is relatively close to us in terms of stellar distance. Fortunately, because Earth is more than 500 light years away, this massive explosion of matter will not have any impact on us. Astrophysicists estimate that for a supernova to have any effect on the planet, it would need to be about 50 light years away. The red hypergiant VY Canis Majoris displayed significant dimming episodes in 2021, similar to Betelgeuse. The explanation for this, according to NASA's Hubble Space Telescope, was similar to Betelgeuse's fading, but it was just happening on a far larger scale. What time will it go off? Most probably, it won't occur during our lifetimes. But no one truly knows when it will explode. Could happen today or in a million years. Betelgeuse is nearing the end of its life cycle and will explode at any point in the next 100,000 years. But as it has dimmed significantly during the past few months, it has drawn a lot of attention. Betelgeuse pulsates and it has done this before. Therefore, it's not surprising that it has faded. But this particular fading has turned out to be unique. Betelgeuse is one of the brightest stars in the sky, shining at an apparent magnitude of 0.69 and ranking 11th among the brightest stars. However, most recent estimates indicate that it has decreased to an apparent magnitude of about 1.7, removing it from the top 21. Betelgeuse has therefore grown significantly dim. Betelgeuse's strange star fading has been discussed in the media, with theories abounding that it may be a sign that the star is poised to explode as a supernova. Most professional astronomers and astrophysicists, however, do not accept this idea and think that the star will eventually return to normal because the current dimming is due to other factors such as an outburst of gas or dust or variations in the brightness of the star's surface. Therefore, even though Betelgeuse is set to collapse eventually, the scientific community agrees. Not anytime soon would we see. Let's assume what might happen if Betelgeuse finally popped. What would we see and experience from here on Earth? In the years 106, 1054, and 1572, the three brightest supernovae ever visible in our skies first appeared. Each of these stars was either as brilliant as Venus at its brightest or on par with it. 
they were all but thousands of light years apart. Betelgeuse, however, is just 640 light years distant. This means that if the star were to explode, it would become extremely bright, perhaps approaching the brightness of the full moon and casting significant shadows even during daylight hours. It would be easily visible in the daytime sky. In the following months where we once saw Betelgeuse, we would only see a diffuse patch of faint light. That would be the intensely hot, newly exposed core of the star, surrounded by an expanding cloud of gaseous debris. It would initially appear at this extraordinary brightness for two or three months. Then, over the course of the next two or three years, it would gradually fade from view. If there were no other repercussions on our planet, that would be the extent of the explosion. Betelgeuse is fortunate to be where it is in relation to us, and not closer, say, than Capella, a very bright yellowish star that passes high overhead in the middle of the night. The distance is only 43 light years. History, mythology, and popular culture of Betelgeuse. Arabic is the language that gave rise to the naming of many prominent stars. This fact illustrates the preeminent role held by Arabic astronomers and astrologers during Europe's Dark Ages. The term Betelgeuse comes from an Arabic word that is commonly rendered in English as the armpit of the giant. This word is where the name Betelgeuse originates. Some scholars believe that Betelgeuse is meant to be seen as a hand or even a shoulder at times. This contrasts with the common interpretation that the giant relates to Orion. Betelgeuse is the name of the star that appears at the right shoulder of Orion on many older star maps. The meaning of the name isn't fully understood. It's not surprising that most depictions of Betelgeuse have an anatomical connection, since Orion is most commonly associated with a giant, a warrior, a hunter, a god, or some other anthropomorphic or animal figure in ancient tales. Although it was most likely the leg of a stag, the Sanskrit term for this structure also referred to it as an arm. For example, in some parts of Brazil, the constellation Betelgeuse was seen as the front leg of a turtle or the back leg of a caiman, a species of crocodile. Betelgeuse, on the other hand, was thought to be an important component of the rim of a ceremonial drum in ancient Japan. Betelgeuse represents an amputated limb of a man figure Orion. In the Americas, the Tup of Brazil refers to the as head interpreted there among whom beautiful scene considered offering those. 